Today we are installing the access port for the Ford Fiesta ST. First thing you want to do is plug this into your OBD2 port. And with the Fiesta ST, one way is to keep your wires super out of the way and organized. Put this through here, under this dashboard thing. So you slip it through there, you feed it through, and then you grab it with your other hand. Grab it with your other hand, pull it through, and then find the OBD2 port. Now that you have it plugged in, you can put it in as much as you want to to keep it organized and it'll just hide in there depending on where you put your access port. Next thing you want to do is mount your access port. So come over here. I have put mine right here and you can put it many other places. The only place over here to put it is here. You can mount it on your windscreen. You could put it right here. But I recommend putting it there. Also, with the stock double-sided tape, it's it's crap and it'll fall off in the first week. So just buy on Amazon like double-sided 3M tape and it'll last forever. The thing you want to do is plug in your access port. And then it'll turn on, it'll say access port, and then a picture of Ford. And then press continue and then press install. Actually, make sure your ignition is on. Don't turn your engine on though. Press install. Please confirm that your vehicle matches. Yes. And then, okay, this is where you wanna choose your stages. The Fiesta has three stages. Stage one is an access port, a high flow air filter, and a rear motor mount. Stage two, is all of that plus an intercooler. Stage three is all of that plus a high flow downpipe and an exhaust from Cobb. For now, I'm gonna put stage one for 91 octane gas. Press that. It'll warn you that you need a battery charger. I never use one. And then it'll start downloading. While the access port is downloading, I want to talk to you about my YouTube channel. And if you haven't noticed already, I've been posting more frequently than I ever have. And I want to start doing that more often. So I want to make it a goal to post once or twice a week, Monday and Friday. So I have a lot of video ideas. Me and my buddy Yoan are starting to make a lot more videos. I'm getting new things. So if you want to stay tuned for that and you're interested, subscribe. After it is fully downloaded, it'll say download successful. Then you want to turn your ignition to the off position. Press continue. Continue again. And then turn on your car. After everything's installed, you have your gauges, your performance, troubleshooting, and your tune which you can change your tune. Troubleshooting, if you have a check engine light, you can check and see what that is. Performance, you can uh, time your zero to 60 times and time your quarter miles, I'm pretty sure. And then gauges, these are your actual gauges that will show while you're driving. I have boost pressure, intake air temperature, oil temperature, and knock. To change these locks, you just go to setup, press enter, and you can change the gauge layout. You have one to six gauges, I choose four. And to change the gauges, you can actually, you have to press down, select the gauge, and then change monitor. And then you have all these different gauges you can choose from. So I'm just gonna go back and go back because I wanna keep that. And right now, we'll give an example of what it looks like on the road. Something cool the access port comes with, it automatically gives you launch control when you install the access port. So what you want to do for that is press in the clutch, 
and then slam on the gas pedal. And you have to put the gas pedal all the way to the floor, otherwise it won't do it. So here's the demonstration. For the Fiesta, it'll rev all the way up to 2,500, and that should be good for launch control. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like it for more.